Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Cami, and this is Cami's Closet. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining. My channel is about luxury goods, handbags, contemporary style, jewelry, whatever I find in my closet that I think is interesting and I want to share, that's the type of stuff you'll find on this channel. If you like that kind of stuff, please hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you'll know when I upload videos. Um, usually it's on the weekends. I work full time during the week, so it'll be very rare that you catch a video during the week. However, sometimes if I'm on vacation, I might do an extra video. I will also let you know if you're new to my channel that I don't edit. I use an old laptop. So basically what you see is what you get. I film and then I upload. Um, this video I'm actually filming Friday after work. You could probably, if you know me well, you'll see the difference in my makeup. I just got home from work and I'm filming this for Sunday because this is, and you should know by my thumbnail, a collab with the one and only Candy from Candy's, oh my God. I just had Yoda in my head because Yoda couldn't get Candy's name right. And I just totally, it went right out of my head. Candy's sweet love for LV. So please, after you watch this video, go watch Candy's video. We're both doing a collab on this beautiful LV Louis Vuitton Papillion Papillon trunk. She has the same one. I finally used it. I wore it about three times, so I think I can give a pretty good idea, a pretty good review. Um, so I will link her channel and her video down below. So anyway, um, I got this sometime, it, it, actually I know exactly when I got it. It was the Monday after Good Friday because I went to the Short Hills Mall and I met Dawn from Dawn Loves Couture. I will link her channel down below. I had purchased this in advance, this along with my Fendi baguette, which I have not used yet, shame on me, but I purchased this, both of them in advance so when I got to the mall, they would have it there. Oh my God, I look like I'm a hot mess. Anyway, so I finally took this out just about two, three, not even three weeks ago, two weeks ago and decided to use it. Gotta use it. I gotta use it. I pay for these things. I better use it. I'm not the kind that just puts it up on the shelf and stares at it. I can't do that. I can't. If I'm buying it, I'm using it. So in any case, I'm going to show you mod shots right off the bat and I'm going to tell you um, the style is absolutely gorgeous. It has um, a detachable and adjustable belt type strap and it has a detachable chain top handle strap also. Not adjustable, just detachable. It has the uh, gold hardware and if you push it, I finally learned how to do it, you push it and you open and it opens. It is filled right now with my phone, a card case, a lipstick, my keys, and a little pouch that has hand sanitizer in it. This holds way more than I ever expected it would. In any case, I did a what fits video. So I'm closing it now and I'm gonna throw it on. Let me make sure it's closed. I'm gonna show you what it looks like top handle, you know, if you're kind of just carrying it like this, if you hold it top handle and you leave the strap on and you drop the strap, I'm very short, the strap drags on the floor. So I would have to shorten the strap if I'm going to carry it top handle and have the strap hanging you know you could decide sometimes you'll just leave the strap at home so this is what it looks like top handle crook of the arm very cute if you want to throw it onto your shoulder you could shorten this this is um it has one two three four five holes so it it has a really good adjustment for the strap. Um, so if you wore it shoulder, this is in the middle hole. So I can go shorter by one, two, three holes. So if I went a little shorter, it would be like probably up to here. So it would 
work as a shoulder strap, as a shoulder band, you know, very easily, right? If I cross body it, it should work for anybody, any size, any height, because again, it has a good amount of adjustments. So that's great. Looks really pretty with the chain hanging, the shoulder, the crossbody. Very nice. It's a great look, right? I love it. I'm trying to think as I go along if there are any cons to the bag other than the price. So let me show you um, if I take the strap off. Right, and you're just going to carry it with the, sorry about all the noise, you know, someone suggested that I put like a dust bag down to stop the banging of everything, but I forgot. In any case, so you're just going to carry it alone without the strap, it's great, it looks great, right? Now watch what happens, I'm going to put the box up here so you can see. If you put the bag down. It rolls on top of the uh, clasp, the, the lock. This is how the bag is when it's straight, when it's standing straight. So if you put it down, you just set it down, it rolls forward. That is one thing that I noticed about it when I used it. Because if it's, if you know, if you're on a table or if it's on a chair or whatever hard surface and it rolls you're going to continuously be scratching that so you might want to be mindful of that and hang it but if you don't have the crossbody strap to hang on like the back of a chair or something like that then if you put it down be mindful that it's going to roll so also remember let's see, sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't <laughs> you know, so it's, it's kind of, it's wonky that way. It doesn't always roll, but um, be mindful that it's closed because if it rolls while it's open, then, you, you know, all your stuff might fall out of it. Um, I can't think of anything else that is a con. I mean, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Let me move the box. It's gorgeous. You don't have to worry about the, the cheddar, the cata, because you know it's dark. It's really, really, it, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Look how pretty it is. Let me see if it, well, I wore it with the crossbody, but not with the, um, not with the chain. And I'll tell you why. You know, if you're going to spend this kind of money, you might as well get use out of everything, right? When I wore this bag, and even without wearing the bag, I probably showed you guys this, but if you knew and you never saw this video or saw my other video, I wore this as a necklace, and I think it makes a better necklace than it does a top handle. So, you know, just like throw it on and close it. If you were to buy a Louis Vuitton gold, it's not gold, it's not real gold, but if it was just gold tone Louis Vuitton necklace like this, it would probably cost you about $800, $900, who knows, maybe more. Look at this. Look how pretty. I usually wear it alone because it's very heavy, it's thick, but I think it makes a better necklace than a top handle. Let me show you how this looks. Not how it looks, but how, yeah, it, you know, it, without the gold, makes it a little bit, uh, no, that's on the wrong D-ring. It has to be on the top D-ring if you're not going to wear the chain on the top. The strap, I'll tell you, I love the fact that the strap is thick. It's very comfortable, but it's hard to maneuver. It's like if you put your bag down, the strap, is, it's big, it gets in the way. When I went to the diner and I put the bag on the bench next to me, 
the strap was like falling all over my leg. I was like trying to like get the strap out of my way. Um, so I don't know. Let me see. Does this, does it, if I put it down with the strap, does it, does it, no, it's not, uh, it's not turning. Let me show you guys. It's not, it's not turning. It's staying upright. So basically it really depends on what's in it, how it's weighted. Sorry, I'm on an angle. Um, whether or not it's going to roll. I don't know if Candy, if you noticed that, did you, when you went out with it, did you put it down anywhere? Did you have it this weighted with a lot of things? Did you notice that it was rolling onto the lock? Um, that's the only thing that I could think of that I don't, um, that I thought was a little bit annoying. Other than that, I, the bag is just absolutely gorgeous. It, it really is. It's, it's gorgeous. I'm, I'm trying to think of anything else that I can tell you guys. Well, I'll tell you now that I tried to close this twice and it didn't close. Okay, now you have to listen for the snap um, because I thought it closed and it didn't. And it took me time to learn how to open and close this thing. So um, I really, I can't think of anything I dislike. It holds way more. I'm going to show you again, even if you, if you didn't see my other video. Um, I got a full lipstick case in here, a card holder, my Gucci card holder, my phone, a 7 Plus, a little pouch with hand sanitizer in it, my keys, and my mini reader glasses. I forgot my mini reader glasses. That's a lot. It really holds a lot. Um, what I was concerned about was the constant opening and closing. Will the canvas start to crack? I, you know, only time will tell. I'm not going to know. So that was the only thing that I thought about. Like, I looked at videos of this before I bought it and reviews, and I could not find any review that was negative. Um, or concerned or had used it for us for a long time and had like marks here from it opening and closing so basically I really I can't say what the you know how durable it is and how well it'll hold up until I've used it for at least six months to a year so uh, remind me of that but anyway so that is basically um, what I had to say about this and I'm really curious to know what Candy thinks about it and how she, you know, found it when, you know, when she used it. Again, um, no complaints except that it could roll a little bit. The strap could be a bit heavy or get in the way. Um, but it's a beautiful bag and it comes with a beautiful necklace. So basically, that is my review. Again, please go to Candy at Candy's Sweet Love, hello, at Candy's Sweet Love for LV. That's what happens when you live with people and you do things in the afternoon and you're in the middle of the dining room. You get dogs and doors and... Anyway, please go see Candy's video at Candy's Sweet Love for LV and I will link her channel down below and I will link Dawn from Dawn Loves Couture down below as well as an honorable mention. Anyway, um, you'll be seeing this on Sunday so you probably saw my video yesterday which would be Saturday and right now I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Come back again and please don't forget to subscribe. It's really important. Have a great Sunday. Bye.